Okay, so we had a bit of news this week. Um, I don't know if this is official, and I don't think anybody knows. So this is kind of hard to, like, get excited about just yet. You know, like, for me, obviously, it's November 13th, and I have my Christmas stuff up. So Christmas is right here, but it's not quite Christmas yet. This is the feeling I get because we're talking about Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier, too. And this fight's not yet official. I don't know what the holdup is, and we're going to talk a little bit about what that could be. But it feels like this fight's done. It feels like that because if it, from what everybody's reporting, Ariel Hawani, Brett Akamoto, Bloody Elbow, everyone's saying that this fight's scheduled for the 23rd of January, which we always thought it would be, and that Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor are both saying the fight's on. We're ready to fight. Now, I don't know if who is signed and who hasn't. I think at this point... It's either Dustin has signed and Connor hasn't, or the other way around. I don't know, but I'm. It leads me to believe why. Why isn't this fight quite done yet? And I think I have two answers that make a lot of sense. Um, well, the first one being that there's some sort of issue with fans in attendance, right? Uh, so Connor McGregor, obviously, when he comes to fight, when he comes to to Connor Mania, uh, the entire world has their eyes on it. The guy draws money. Like, like your local ATM. He just is is that guy in, in MMA. He always has been. He always will be. I mean, you know, you guys know I'm a big fan of Connor. I got my proper 12 all lit up over there. I'm very excited for the return of the Mac, but when you have him, it is its own event, right? You don't need a title on the line. You don't need, and, and quite frankly, I don't think the UFC wants a title on the line on the same card Conor McGregor is because of the way the pay-per-view points work and how they have to pay those out. When when the circus is in town, when Conor's in town, you have to have this, this massive event. And part of that means fans in attendance because the gate, the amount of money that people pay to come in person to watch Conor McGregor is bigger than any you'll get all year. Yesterday was the anniversary of Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez's fight in Madison Square Garden, the first MMA fight in New York. And they showed the gate, and it was something crazy like $17,700,000. And they said of the other three events that, they, that the UFC's had in Madison Square Garden combined, they haven't made that much money. This guy is the cash cow, so you just see how much he draws, not only on the pay-per-view side, but in the building, the, the gate, the people that are coming in and, and paying that money for exchange to see Mystic Mac dropping bombs in the first row all the way up to the 101st row. That's just the way it is. So I think that's my, my first theory on it, and that's not a that's not like a uh, Wade concept exclusive. Everybody knows that Connor brings the money, so the UFC wants to have fans in attendance for that fight. Now, obviously with, with COVID-19 and, and now the U.S. election, there's a lot of things that are going to be unraveling here in the U.S. that, that are, you know, policy, how we're going to handle COVID moving forward, what happens with fans in attendance, do we go back into lockdown, do we not? Do we have a vaccine? All that stuff's going to play out, and I think Dana is keeping a lot of his cards close to the vest here because he doesn't really know what's going to happen. None of us do. It's it's At this point, it's still up in the air as to if they're even going to do it in the United States, I think, because I think Dana said yesterday in an interview that he's planning on having it on Fight Island, um, which would mean no fans in attendance at the moment because Fight Island is is one of the quarantine safe zones for the UFC right now, and they've had great events there. If they do it on Fight Island, it would be awesome to hear Connor in the cage and almost like a glorified sparring session, which has become main place in MMA. You know, this is kind of how we do fights now. Everything's very quiet. We get to hear technical instruction from the corners, and we get to hear devastating shots from both guys. Uh, it's been commonplace, but when, like I said, it's just it's a different feeling. I don't know how I would feel about Connor walking in to no cheers, and I don't know how Connor feels about it. I think that might be why there's a little bit of a holdup with the. Uh, with the contract process is because Connor wants fans in attendance. He's talked about Jerry World um, in January. He's talked about having that half filled up because that's, I guess, Texas law right now. You can go halfway on these major stadiums, but Dana has been has kind of shot all that down and said, we're not doing halfway anywhere. If we can't get all the fans in, we're not doing any fans. So I don't know, man. I'm just excited for this, and I'm, I'm, I'm on pins and needles because – we know, as UFC fans, as MMA fans, we know that these dream fights, they can they can be taken away, they can go away as quickly as they can be announced. And, and we've seen it time and time again. We've seen fights that we're so excited for. It's happening this weekend. Islam Makachev and, and Rafael Dos Anjos, a fight that we all, I think, wanted to see and we're all really excited about. It just it falls out at the last minute. Now, obviously, that was more sickness-related on, on Islam's part, and obviously, get well, Islam Makachev, but... 
for this, it, it feels like we're right at the, we're, we're about to open our Christmas presents. We've run downstairs. Santa's already come. We're about to just peel that first layer of wrapping paper off. And dad takes away the present. And he's like, nope, nope, sorry. Christmas is canceled this year. Sorry, we might do it next year, maybe. Santa said he wanted more more children in attendance. I don't know what to tell you. So I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen with this. It feels like the more time this goes without a definitive announcement, it just makes me think the UFC is not necessarily set on doing this, at least not as early as January 23rd. I hope so. I really do. The, the camps seem to think that that's the case. I mean, John Cavanaugh tweeting out the return of the Mac January 23rd. Connor tweeting out, you know, it's done. We're, we're, we're fighting. Dustin... Uh, tweeting out a bunch of diamonds and, and Irish flags, so I'm assuming. But I, I need an official announcement or else I think this is going to be something that UFC has to play by ear and whatever happens in January, you know, as far as new policy on COVID is how they're going to do it. That's that's unfortunate that we have to live that way just like month to month, day to day. But please, Dana, please. I know I, I ask basically one of these every, every uh, episode, but please, Dana, give us UFC fans the Merry Christmas and the happy new year that we all deserve. Dana Claus, please put that present under our trees.